Good evening, Dustin. Thank you. Are we ready for the next 33 days? Yeah, awesome. So are we at 60 plus. One of the ways that Obamacare is being paid for is to take $716 billion out of Medicare. Now the amazing thing was, as if we are so stupid that we think that you can improve Medicare by adding 30 million people into the system, then creating a cut in the amount of money that doctors are paid to see you, and taking $716 billion out of the, the program. If any of you leave here today and you get a rumble in your engine, and you pick up the phone and you call your mechanic, and he says, I can see you in six months. None of us would take that kind of risk with our vehicle and stay on the road. But for some reason, as Canadians, we've been um, put in a position where we will accept it for our health. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the person who does not need an introduction. And I sure am glad, because I've never heard of this guy, Jim Labriola. <laughs> I will tell you this, there were men and women in that audience just like you are right here tonight that fought on distant battlefields to give her the freedom, if you will, to call you un-American. And I don't want to name her, but her initials are Nancy Pelosi. Now my favorite part though was the reaction from some of the people who have been the acolytes of the Church of Obama and their candles went out last night. Chris Matthews, who four years ago, four years ago, this man had a tingle going up his leg. Last night, he had a tingle going down his leg. It was because he wet his pants. He was so overwhelmed. And the last thing I want to see is some weird looking government worker coming at me with two blue gloves <laughs> and a weird look on his face. You know what I'm saying? Because in this next 33 days, it's critical that we do all we can to take our country back. Are you with us in that mission? Thank you. So let me see. You put more people in who are living longer you have no pre-existing conditions, you give them unlimited lifetime medical care, and then you cut $716 billion out of the program and it's supposed to save money. Of course we believe that, don't we? By the way, as soon as we're finished here, we're gonna go out to the beach and watch pigs fly right over the Gulf of Mexico. I can get an MRI tomorrow for my dog. I can get surgery by the end of the week. I can even buy private health insurance to cover those costs, but I'm not allowed to do that for my family. We are on a recruiting mission at the 60 Plus Association. We're gonna keep people charged up between now and November. Stay focused, keep them accountable, I know you will. There's, there's some pleasant surprises on the horizon. Barack Obama started talking about we need to spend more money in education and spend more money in green energy. It's all about spending money, but he never calls it spending, it's always investing. Investing is government speak for spend your money. That's what that means. He turned to Governor Romney and said, what's your concept of government? And what I thought was a very powerful moment, Governor Romney turned and pointed to the Constitution and the words of the Declaration of Independence that had been placed on the wall behind him. And he said, I think our philosophy of governing is to be true to these documents. My friend, that's what this election is about. It's whether, it's whether we will be true to the documents that are our foundation and the very essence of our country. I joke, God bless our president, be proud. You know something, no offense, Governor, but he still is the only president in history that's ever visited all 57 states. So, you know, I mean, you gotta give them that. This is an America that we've inherited. But it's not the America we are about to turn over to our kids and our grandkids because we've had a government that spent money they didn't have and borrowed money they knew they couldn't afford to pay back. And it is up to us to somehow turn the corner 
and to do for the generations coming after us what our parents' generation did for us. And that's to give us a better America. And folks, if those of us who love this country, if we don't do it, no one else will. And I'm convinced we will. America still is the greatest place on God's green earth. And by His grace, with every ounce of energy left in my soul, I will fight to make sure it stays that way. And I think you're here tonight because you agree and you'll do it too.